How are you, David? Good, good. How are you? Excellent, thank you. So, uh, I see you again. We drove uh, the last time with the, the new Avalon. That was right. like, what, like a year ago or something yeah, like that? Yeah, uh, maybe at least a year ago up at uh, Bardasono Resort exactly. in Napa, right? Yep. It was, it was beautiful. The audio system comes up. So today, now, we're like in the jewel of the crown for Toyota, pretty much, right? Because this car is... It's been what? How many years? Number one uh, selling the US? 12 years running. Yeah, this is Avalon's little brother, the Camry. Exactly. <laughs> so the new Toyota yeah. Camry, which yeah. is new, but yeah. very recently, there was new still. So yes. what happened? Yeah, so you know, in the fall of 2011, we launched the seventh generation Camry, which we're still in today. But the car we're in today for 2015 is a what we call a mid-cycle change. So it is the same platform underneath, but of course, all the sheet metal outside is different except the roof. So we've done a lot of work to make the car uh, look a little bit more uh, exciting, a little more athletic, a little more maybe aggressive even. Yeah. So why that? I mean, because it's like a short cycle to do like such a big uh, uh, redesign for the car. I mean, like I know you're still number one in this segment by far, but there's some competition. Does that influence that a little bit? Oh, sure. You know, we, 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 look, we look at our customers out there, our, our Camry owners, uh, for their opinions, first of all, and also people who maybe would consider buying Camry but haven't yet, and, and ask them what's important to them. But yes, absolutely, the competition has not sat still since 2011. Yeah. When we launched Camry then, it really had uh, excellent driving manners compared to the competitors, but in the last three years, they've all done work to their cars, and so we, we have to continue to do so too to keep up, right? We're yeah, to manufacturers ahead. like Kia, like Hyundai, like yeah. Ford, Chevrolet, everybody's, yes. I mean, wants to get into this segment because yes. it's the highest volume segment, it right? Is. Yeah, so we're all competing, which is good for the consumer. Exactly. The, the consumer wins because all these cars are great. I've driven them all. Uh, they all have good qualities, right? But but I really think this is the best Camry we've ever built. Well, certainly, I mean, like the numbers are amazing. I mean, like the numbers during the presentation that we, we saw yesterday are just incredible. I mean, uh, it was what, like one Camry a minute or something? Like yeah, that? one one Camry for a family every fifty seconds. That's a, uh, I mean, how, how could that be even possible? Well, I have no idea because I don't think anybody buys cars at one a.m. <laughs> no, I mean exactly. <laughs> but I mean, it's the average, obviously. But uh, so yeah. this car is built in the U.S. It yes. was. Like most of your cars now, right? Like most of Toyota products are yeah. built here in the US. Yeah, I would say about three quarters of our production, and I'm, I'm not certain of the exact number, but we still have some vehicles coming in from Japan yeah. factories, but uh, most of our US product now is built in the US. And then of course the, the Yaris that you saw this weekend is now built in France, so that's kind and of that's a very cool, yeah. Too, so and actually the Yaris, the, here in this presentation we have the, the Sienna, yep. the minivan, the Camry and the Jarris. And the yes. Jarris, the front design is really, really attractive. Yes. You can tell it's a European car. Yeah, we actually, our European Design Bureau did some work uh, on a concept car for us called the iGo that was introduced back at the Geneva Oh, I Auto saw Show. that did one. You see it? Yeah, yes. absolutely, yes. yeah. And if you look at the iGo's front end and you look at the Yaris's uh, front styling, you'll see some similarities, a kind of X-shaped front grille. And yeah. So we, uh, we are doing a little bit there to have some diversity from our, our, our sources, uh, bringing the Yaris in from France now to make it look also a little bit more exciting too, just like Camry. Exactly. So let's go back to Camry. Yes. Um, you said everything is new except for the roof. Yes. I mean, and so there's a lot to talk about. Yeah. But uh, what, what would be the main points? Well, I think the, the main points is that we wanted the car to have a premium athletic look on the outside because we did a lot of work to the suspension uh, to make it handle like an athletic car. Yeah. So we wanted it to look athletic too. We knew from our consumers that had bought the Camry from 2011 to present that they wanted a little bit more outside styling. They wanted that outside to look a little bit more exciting. And so we took that advice to heart and over the last three years, you know, uh, developed this car and, and worked on the styling and got it all set up. So yeah, really everything outside is different to give you a more, uh, uh, fluid look on the outside of the car. There's character lines now we didn't used to have. Yeah. Uh, we did things like moving the outside mirrors out away from the body a little bit more to help keep the cabin quiet. So we did a lot of exterior work to make it look good, but also uh, match the performance. Yeah. And also in interior, I mean, oh, like yes. uh, more uh, high quality materials, like better finishes, like this stitching on the yes. on the board and all those kind of things. Yeah, absolutely. We're we're in an XSE here, so you'll see the red accent stitching. So this is the top of the line for yeah, the sport. The, yeah. Sportier version of it. Yeah, exactly. So we have four grades. Maybe we should start there, right? We have okay. four grades. We have LE and XLE. And the XLE is the top of the line for comfort tuned vehicles. And then we have SE and XSE, which we're in here. And those are the two sporty models with XSE 
kind of like the XLE, but but before the sporty tuned models. Yeah. So yeah, we have red accent stitching on the dash, the door panels, our seats, the gear shift lever, and your steering wheel there to kind of yeah, you can feel the quality all, in here. Yeah, yeah to all tie it together. Uh, new gauge cluster with that new. Uh, 4.2 inch uh, thin film transistor multi-information display that can tell you all sorts of stuff from driver information yeah. our new tire pressure monitor system shows up there it tells you what the pressures are on each tire and tells you where they are uh, so even though this is not the entry level car for Toyota I think the Yaris is right uh, uh, yes Yaris so, is our subcompact yeah, exactly yes yeah. so this car is like in middle of the of the line uh, but yeah. it has everything I mean this the, the gap between uh, this car and a luxury car it's, it's uh, shrinking, it's getting, right? it's getting smaller. I mean, listen, listen how quiet exactly, the cabin absolutely. is in here. It's, it's very quiet. And I think Avalon and Camry both really are approaching that level of luxury car performance when it comes to sound reduction in the cabin and overall driving manners and handling. And, you know, we have a new center stack here with our latest audio systems. Uh, the buttons here on the, on the bezel by the radio are bigger and easier for you to use. So to make the ergonomics better while you drive. Absolutely. So here, uh, doing a little maneuver, yeah. and uh, rear view camera. Rear view camera standard on all Camrys. All Camrys. That's yep. something else that uh, I guess you're getting ahead of the regulations because that's yes. going to come into as a regulation, federal regulation, yes. pretty soon, right? Yeah. We try to. I don't know when it's happening exactly, but yes, we try to stay ahead of that and. Uh, you know, we do our, our research ahead of time and try to anticipate what we think is going to uh, become a regulation. But also, we add features because we think the consumers will like them. You know, we, we really let that drive us. Yeah, that's another big factor into the competition because sure. everybody tries, everybody wants to have more in the car. Yes. And uh, so this kind of technology, like the rear view camera, the navigation, the keyless entry, all those kind of things. Are like coming down to a lower priced vehicles, right? Yes, we're we're gonna see. You will probably see this uh, becoming introduced into more and more vehicles, uh, as well as like your advanced driver assistance systems that you see on the controls on the left uh -huh. side of your steering wheel. You know, pre-collision, adaptive cruise control, lane departure alert, uh, those type of systems. The blind spot monitor. I think in the near future you may see that start to also spread uh, into other models uh, as that technology becomes more desirable by our consumers. So. Four grades for the Camry, but then there's a hybrid. We have a hybrid, and that has three grades. We've offered the LE and XLE hybrid now since 2011, but our, our owners out there also asked, like they did for the XSE gas, they wanted some excitement. And so we went ahead and, and designed the SE hybrid as a sport-tuned hybrid for those hybrid owners that want to have better handling and a little bit more crisp driving manners and more excitement. And so that's a new grade. So the XSE gasoline and the SE hybrid are our new grades. And the XSE can be had with either our four-cylinder engine or our V6 engine. And then, of course, the hybrids all have our 2.5-liter four-cylinder engine with Toyota Hybrid Synergy Drive. Yeah, and why are we talking about the price range for all, all the models? Like, they're starting, like, what's the lowest priced uh, Camry? Yeah, LE, LE is going to open up at about 22000 and change. Yeah. Maybe a little bit more than that. And the uh, XSE and XLE will... Uh, uh, on the four-cylinder models, be around twenty-six thousand, and then the V6 models, we I think right around thirty-one to thirty-two thousand yeah. in there. And pricing is just now getting out. I, I don't and have the hybrid time. a little bit the more than that. A little, always, bit, yeah. a little bit more. Yeah, the hybrid will have a small premium, but uh, once again, remember the hybrid vehicle. Uh, the, the advantage to that is the smooth power delivery, but also the fact that those hybrids, uh, both the LE, XLE, and SE models all get between 40 to 43 miles per gallon in the city. Oh, so you've got amazing, a mid-sized yeah. car that weighs nearly 4,000 pounds that can get you 40 mpg. So you were talking about like how your consumers want that little bit more of performance of the Camry and uh, this weekend NASCAR announced the new Camry for NASCAR. Yeah. <laughs> that <laughs> one true. we cannot buy, right? Yeah, sorry we can't <laughs> sell you that one. That, that one might be a little bit uh, too much performance for some of us, but uh, yeah, there, there's been an announcement there. Uh, you know, we've had our Camry NASCAR uh, vehicles out there on in the racing circuit now for a few years and have successful racing teams and uh, that helps generate interest in our products for yeah. us and, and build some excitement on the racing circuit so yeah we're very much happy to be a sponsor well David thank you very much again for uh, sharing all the your information with us and uh, David you're like in the Toyota call university is called right yeah yep yep it used to be called the University of Toyota but we've been incorporated into our marketing department now we've had some reorgs okay uh, but yeah basically I, I do the same job and that is I'm a trainer and uh, I've been so doing you go and train around for dealerships uh, yep, and everything I, yeah I produce the training courses that then we take to the dealerships and, and uh, give to the salespeople so that hopefully our owners out there when they come in to look at our products will will be able to talk to a person who knows a little bit about them and so that's my primary job and then of course uh, introduce Enjoy vehicles <laughs> to the news media like yourself 
for right, enjoying so. the trips uh, uh, with us. Well, thank you very much yes. again for, for the time. We're going to keep enjoying the, the drive here in Jacksonville today. The weather is not that nice. It's not like very Florida, but at uh, least it rained for you from California. Yeah, this is great for me. Yeah, I'm finally wet for the first time in a year. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, thank you very much again, and uh, oh, thank you. Wanna keep enjoying the drive. Yes. Thank you.